Swapan Das Gupta has tendered his resignation from Rajya Sabha. The Trinamool Congress has decided to move a disqualification notice against Rajya Sabha nominated MP Swapan Das Gupta for violating the 10th schedule of the constitution. After the BJP gave him a ticket to contest the upcoming West Bengal Assembly elections. Now it's pertinent to note that Das Gupta was nominated to the Rajya Sabha in April 2016 and his term expires in 2022. On the 14th of March he was named by the BJP as its candidate from Tarkeshwar. My colleague Sanket Upadhyay joins us for the latest. Sanket is uh, Swapan Das Gupta likely to forsake his Rajya Sabha seat before he files his nomination on Friday if he wants to avoid disqualification? Yes, uh, the 10th schedule of the constitution very clearly uh, you know states that you cannot join a political party after 6 months of taking oath as a nominated member of the rajya sabha and since uh, swapan das gupta is going to contest on a bjp symbol ticket from tarkeshwar in the west bengal elections so if he would have filed his nomination he would have been in violation of this 10th schedule and thus would have stood for disqualification now the bjp is basically saying when this controversy arose when uh, it was highlighted by the certain congresses mahua and bhavita said that there is no violation as of now there is certainly no violation if uh, a person is named as a candidate the violation would have begun if the nomination has been filed so as of this moment since the nomination has not been filed the bjp sees this as a no of a no controversy a non starter of a controversy and now that uh, swapan das gupta has moved for his uh, uh, you know his withdrawal uh, from from the rajya sabha he has uh, tendered his resignation then the bjp feels that there is no constitutional crisis or constitutionality involved uh, in this particular matter so he has definitely uh, resigned uh, stepped down from his position remember he had already completed about 5 years uh, of his six year term so 5 uh, years are already passed uh, and now he can very well contest the west bengal elections the only thing is that now if he loses then he loses out on both uh, you know a west bengal mla uh, being in being a west bengal mla and also being a rajya sabha mp but i guess that was uh, that is by the by the way the constitution is drafted that's uh, a prerequisite you cannot contest elections on a party symbol while you are a nominated member of the rajya sabha so as far as the bjp is concerned this controversy is over thank you so much sanket for joining us with those details plot twist after plot twist in battleground bengal now with the bharatiya janata party declaring the nominated and formally independent and politically unaffiliated rajya sabha mp swapan das gupta as its candidate for the tarkeshwar seat in the upcoming west bengal assembly elections all india trinamool congress mp mahua moitra called for his disqualification from the upper house in accordance with the 10th schedule of the constitution of india Swapan Das Gupta has tendered his resignation as we just highlighted from the Rajya Sabha but Moni Deepa Banerjee my colleague spoke to Mr Das Gupta earlier listen in Can you actually contest this election I have a particular status in the Rajya Sabha when I was when I'm as a presidential nominee I am contesting this election as a BJP candidate from Tarakeshwar naturally between two things there are a lot of outstanding issues no nomination process involves resolving all these and all these issues will be resolved by the time i file my nomination i haven't as yet filed my nomination i hope to do so either on thursday or on friday so your response to mahua maitra's point which is accurate i am not responding to anything i am just saying that there are a lot of outstanding issues a lot of clearances everything which you have to get from various institutions including parliament before you file your nomination and all these will be secured before i file my nomination this little controversy has erupted at a time when shubhendu adhikari is attacking mamta banerjee for flaws in her nomination papers your thoughts on that well i haven't yet submitted my nomination paper so it's to find flaws in my nomination paper to fl- find flaws in my character is i think purely hypothetical flaws in character mr das gupta yes whatever they might be saying speculation that you are also in the race for the chief minister's chair well that's a speculation which i think is, is uh, uh, emanates mainly from journalistic imagination 
And fair enough, the media always likes a bit of masala and chatwat. This whole controversy about your position in parliament and being able to contest the election without informing parliament, did it come to your attention thanks to... Anybody, I don't think anybody has denied me the right to contest the election. But give up the position of an MP before you contest... Whether I have not filed my nomination. All these questions... Whether they, whether they are legal, whether they are ethical, whether they are political, whether they are rule-based, will all be addressed before I take the plunge. And that taking the real plunge means submitting your nomination. Do you want to thank Mahuat Maitro for pointing out this little flaw? I don't want to respond to Mahuat Maitro. She's a friend. I hope she's a friend. Uh, and, uh, uh, and Twitter is often an exchange for a lot of things, but I think public life, certainly in electoral politics, goes well beyond 140 characters. In Kolkata, with Jidi Shankar, Monidipa Banerjee, NDTV.